Hi guys, Steve again here. Someone asked me the other day how to play a double stroke roll. They were having a little bit of difficulty with it. And uh, I would like to try to explain my version of it. Uh, a lot of people have the same type of version. That's fine. Uh, some people do it differently than I do. First of all, I use this uh, rubber pad I've had for years. In my opinion, this doesn't mean this doesn't have to be your opinion. This is in my opinion. This is the best pad out there because it makes you work a little bit harder. It doesn't have as much response. You can't really play a buzz roll too well, but I love using this. What's called neoprene. Um, it's another fancy word for rubber. Anyhow, how to play a double stroke roll? Okay. The first step is the most important step, and you're going to hate it, but too bad. Here's how you do it, okay? You have to play uh, two hits per stick, wrist only. Here's what that means. Okay? See this? It is not this. That's all arm. It's not this. That's all finger, it's all wrist. Make them as nice and even as you can. My, my fingers are not leaving this stick. It's all wrist, okay? And I'm not talking death grip and like... You know, angry drumming, just very deliberate strokes. That gets the wrist muscles going for what you will ultimately be doing, which will be the double stroke roll. Once you've got that down and nice and good and comfortable and even, it should not sound like this. That's not even this. And if this is as fast as you can go for now, so be it. You'd rather have that than this. That's just bad. Anyway, moving on to the fingers, okay? Watch my hand, not the stick. Watch the hand. See how I'm making the almost like an OK symbol? And I'm just kind of letting the stick drop? But what you want to do for double stroke roll is let it hit and bounce and catch. Watch again. Same with the other hand. No, oh, that's a little too fast. That was kind of weird. See how my hand You want to get that bounce in there, but you want to let it bounce once and then catch. Look at the motion of my hand. I'm not worried about tempo or how fast that goes. I'm worried about da da da, da the hand motion. Now, if you press a little bit harder, you will get a little bit quicker double in there. Look at my hand. I'm getting two hits per downstroke. Bata, 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 bata. Get that down first. Get that motion down nicely. Maybe fours on each side. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Then you can start putting them together. Maybe going three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Then start going like this. Four. Four. 
exaggerated motions. Four. Then maybe this. Ah, sorry, I messed up. Two, three, four. Then you can play it like this. Look at my hands. Believe me, you're not going to get a lot of volume out of a pad, but on the snare drum, watch my hands. Refine the motions, the motions will become lower instead of up here. They'll become down here. See my hands? Now you get that fast, you start using fingers more than more than your arms and wrists. Okay. If you can get that motion down like this, you've got half the battle won right there. get faster and faster. The more faster you get, the more you have to tell your brain to relax. Ah, oh, that's a buzz stroke. That's not right. Your brain's going to hear, oh my gosh, what's all that? That's craziness. No, you have to relax. <laughs> 